So we thought we'd do something a little different this week's episode, and that is we thought we'd take you along in the cab of our Class A motorhome and show you what it's like driving one of these monsters along the way. We're on our way to Salt Lake City, Utah, and why don't you just sit back and relax. I'll do the driving, Sue will do the navigating, and we'll see how this turns out. So here's the view both of us have for the three to four, maybe sometimes five hours we're sitting in the cab. When we move from one location to the other, you'll see the all important coffee to the left, along with my Apple iPod providing music to the Bose Revolve sitting above my speedometer. Speaking of speedometers, check out that safe 62 miles an hour I'm driving probably in a 70 or 75 mile an hour zone there's a Honda in my monitor in the back to the left of that screen with the Honda is the comfort drive control which makes all the difference in the world driving this thing the steering wheel is just solid as a rock no left right left right no white knuckles uh, just point it in the direction and relax. There's the dash cam recording the events in the front in case you have a calamity in the distance there. You saw the tire pressure monitor. That of course was the RV Garmin. Sue also uses uh, a couple apps on her phone, sometimes even her laptop, to keep us uh, going in the right direction. Coming up is a couple of bridges, and since we're on the freeway, we're fairly confident we'll get under them. But uh, the other cool thing is occasionally you have a tunnel that's bored through a mountain, and we're going to be going through one of those. It's a little tight. Alright, hitting the tunnel at 60. 56. into the light. A it's a there. tunnel with a light. This must be what it's like. Oh, this is heaven. Yeah. There you go. Yep. <laughs> Good job, Marco. You got us through. That's the goal. So, what are you doing there, Sue? I'm reading a good article, so I found it. The beautiful thing is, these communities are everywhere. He said, I started something at the Aspen Institute called We social fabric. That's where it's a social yeah. fabric. This is our logo here and we plop into a place and we find weavers everywhere. Anywhere. Here's your camera, honey. I should probably be driving. Keep driving. Good job. Me too. We're still on the road. Where are you, Mark? I have to get real close because she doesn't have the microphone on. We're at the Great Salt Lakes, actually very close to the speedway, which is in Bacasu. We're on the wrong side of the freeway because of the direction that we're traveling. But 
we're going to go take a look and see what the salt flats looks like close to this uh, rest stop here. That's what we're going to do. We're on our way to the uh, Salt Lake City KOA. We're going to actually be about uh, 20 days in Salt Lake City. You can see miles in the distance and the mountain range and some of the salt flats there. We're actually on the wrong side of the freeway uh, if you wanted to see the salt flats and uh, be near where the Bonneville salt flats are. Uh, because of the direction we're flowing, that's how we ended up on the wrong area. But here is salt flats as well. It's just that they don't extend out as far. Uh, this rest stop that we're at is uh, really kind of cool. It's modern and uh, concrete and bomb proof. And uh, we use rest stops like this just to take a little break and walk around. Uh, you get pretty stiff sitting in the seat for an hour, hour and a half at a crack. So we really like that the system has these rest stops. You can see in the distance here, I just noticed Sue's up in some little observation perch up there. Let's go take a peek what it looks like up there. You come up here with our new electric bikes. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> So here's what the view looks like up on the perch. We're heading east on I-80. So we're on the south side of I-80. And if you're on the other side, maybe a little bit better view. Check Sue out way in the distance over there. Like a little kid, already walked through the brackish water. She's on a little island there digging around for something. Reliving your childhood. It's actually kind of slick also. Watch your step. So do you think we could fill our freshwater tank with this? So I just set up the camera so you can see we're all compacted here. We got no slides out. We stopped in the Salt Lake City rest stop that we just videotaped. And we're going to have a little lunch. We're eating. We're eating. <laughs> so this is what it's like on the road. So after a nice lunch, it's time to jump in the rig, finish out the tail end of our trip to the Salt Lake City campground, pull on to the freeway, hope you get a little room. Uh, it's always encouraging to see a 20 year old Newmar Dutch star on the road, so I know I'll make it someday. This is a typical truck passing us. It's actually a double uh, trailer, believe me out west. There's plenty of triple trailers. Yikes. Here it is, Kiwi. Not this screen, but the next one. Turn left yeah. at the traffic light. Here we go. <clears throat> Great, now people want to come on. Look at the buses here. I think you're right, honey. I think we could turn in there. You're such a good man. Yeah, no, they gave us the directions. You're so good. Yeah, you did a good job. Arriving at Salt Lake City Coa on the right.
so that's it. We're all checked in and we're wrapping up our trip from point A to point B. We'd like to thank everybody that came along with us on this trip. We encourage you to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And that way you won't miss any of the future episodes of our journey in miles.